All right, welcome to Cane Hill, and today Property Universe is at a very exciting part of District 9 Orchard. I'm going to bring you through to this landed conservation freehold property that's right located along Cane Hill Road, and I think you're in for a treat today. So why don't we kickstart the home tour right here? Let's go. Now, in the very first place, there are only 38 houses located along the entire Cane Hill Road. These uh, 38 houses are separated into three different segments. So, it all starts from the very extreme left-hand side, right after this project called Helios Residences. There are a total of 10 houses right there, starting from number 68 to number 86. And then in the center belt, there are another 19 houses, followed on by another 9 houses right on at the corner. So, in totality, there are 38 different landed properties right here located along Cane Hill Road. Now, these are all freehold properties. Predominantly, most of them are terrace houses in nature and because of the fact that these are all pre-World War II houses and because of the rich heritage, URA has gazetted all of them to be conservation because of their heritage nature. Right now, this one that we're standing in uh, is very distinct because the moment you drive past Cane Hill, let me just bring you outside for a little while. Most of the houses, they have a step-up portion before you reach your front porch. The entire land size for this property is at 2,562 square feet. The plot width is 5.3 meters. Plot depth is fantastic, close to about 44.6 meters. So in totality, you have five very good sized bedrooms. Out of the five bedrooms, three of the bedrooms are en suite. You have an additional two bathrooms, which are common bathrooms for your gas usage, plus an additional powder room as well. And then the moment you come in, you'll notice that there's this type of Peranakan style of doors and windows. You're going to see this kind of beautiful louvers right on the top of the ceiling. So there are a total of seven different zones. Now, the very first zone is uh, your front garden, the place that we have put in a nice swing chair together with an outdoor set. And then the moment you come in, this is your living room area together with an official dining space. And then moving on to the fourth portion, this is like your reading zone. The next zone will be your kitchen zone. The sixth zone, this is the place whereby we call it the annex. Basically, you can also call it your outhouse. And later, I'm going to share with you more why is it called the annex or the outhouse. Now, of course, the last zone, that's your backyard area. And that is also the place that you can park two cars right there. So let's move back in. Now, the current build-up area is at about 4,000 square feet. Potential of build-up area here, it can go up to about 6,500 square feet. And that is what some of the neighbors have done. Now, uh, why I want to bring you out here is because I want to show you, although the house might look a little bit smallish right from the outside, but the moment you head in, you will then notice the full size of it. So the moment you head in, what you're going to see is that you have this very beautiful depth that perpetuates all the way to the end of the house itself. You also have these two very beautiful air wells that perpetuates the center portion of this home. That brings in a huge amount of brightness into the space itself. And at the same time, you see all these nice beautiful windows that's overlooking the internal portion of this home. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the history of Cane Hill. Now, Cane Hill was a former nutmeg plantation owned by this guy called Charles Carney. Developed from the turn of the 20th century as an ideal location as a residential area for the wealthy. Most of the large bungalows and mansions have already been given way to redevelopment. A key stretch of mostly two-story Art Deco style terrace houses remained and they received conservation status in the year 1980. Now these areas of terraces are particularly unique in nature because many of them being raised above the road level, they are accessible via a flight to steps to a raised terrace. Many units from the late 1910s to 1920s, they feature recessed upper story verandas. They also have this very unique feature called balustrades with uh, geometric ventilation blocks or metalwork. So it's very distinct. The moment that you head out from Cane Hill Road, you will be able to see these distinct conservation landed properties. Now, what's interesting is that as uh, property prices has been moving pretty actively, 
in the core central region in District 9 and District 10 and in order to get a landed in Prime D9 it's getting more and more difficult nowadays now coming to the price point this current property is asking for 10.8 million dollars you get a land size that is 2,500 plus square feet that brings you to about a per square foot of about 4,000 plus for a freehold property now compare that to some of the prime penthouses there are four or maybe five bedrooms that is also going at probably about 10 to 15 million in some of the freehold condominium projects around in D9 area if you are local Singapore PR or foreigner with LDAU approval for you to own a landed property in Singapore then of course this should be in your radar because not only do you own the land you also own the entire structure of the house itself and of course the third thing is that you get to own a heritage portion of Singapore's history right on in prime area of Singapore coming to this part with very nice timber right on top of the ceiling you get to see a lot of portions whereby light permits from level 3 and that is not even including the attic level upstairs Alright, so having covered the pricing of this home, we're going to bring you through part by part of this entire landed home. So this is the second zone of the home. Of course, your first zone will be your front garden portion. Of course, at the front porch area, you can do gardening right there. You can also use that as an outdoor dining space. Now, right outside, there is a space for you to park one car. Now, in the entire 38 different houses right here, there are only six of them that allows you to park an additional two cars right at your backyard area. The living room space as well uh, is fantastic in size. So although your plot width is about 5.3, because of the depth that you have, you have so much flexibility to design. So you can even have two different living areas right on level one. Perhaps one is your former, former living room. One is like a family area. Moving on to the third portion, This is a place that will be beautiful to be used as your dining area because you're overlooking up towards the airwell portion. Space-wise, fantastic. All the way up to a 10-seater. This is a place that we think can be dedicated as a nice uh, reading zone with sunken in portions for nice bookshelf area. As we head down, this is the part that it can also be your former dining area because this is an up part with this beautiful airwell upstairs and of course it faces towards your kitchen zone now kitchen is extremely huge you have an entire u-shaped kitchen right here plus this part here that has already been allocated for a huge fridge dishwasher is already prefab plus a lot of top hung cabinets right on top currently this induction stove with a combination of open flame cooking stove as well oven microwave coffee machines even if let's say you're buying this as a collection item for investment currently rental rates for built up areas that is um, approximately about 4,000 to 4,500 square feet they are going for a calling rental rate of between 13,000 to about 15,000 right now if let's say the built up area is of course bigger uh, then some of the larger built up areas they are calling for even a higher rental rate uh, per month tenants that are looking at this area they will love this amount of space that they get before i show you the official area whereby all your bedrooms are let's just explore the back portion this house belongs to the portion whereby it's the center zone and uh, out of this center 19 houses six of them at one of the corner right here, they have this very special backyard zone area and this backyard car porch allows you to park two cars and of course you can allocate a portion just like what our owners have done for the washer come dryer portion right here. Notice that out of the six houses right here, all of them have already extended the back of the house backwards through Recon and a and Of course this house still has a lot of potential to go, you can still extend backwards after applying with BCA. Perhaps you might want to do it after you ran out for a few years or maybe after living here for a few years with your family. Now this entire zone, we call it the Annex because it has a separate stairway upstairs to a very huge ensuite bedroom. And you can close up this door and then this becomes like an outhouse and you can rent this entire portion now. Of course, located right here, this will be one of the powder room a utility room and of course a common bathroom when you rent out this back portion there's a dedicated exit at the back for your tenant to use uh, without disturbing the main house and yes this is the part that we're talking about because this 
next room is so fantastic. It's such a beautiful size room right here. It has such a long walkway space with the wardrobes being tucked at the corner. The ensuite bathrooms are all renovated, standing shower, rain shower options, and of course, this overlooks towards the internal zone of the house. There are a lot of different usage. Either you can rent this portion out, or alternatively, use this as a home office. Come here to work, live the entire three-quarter front part of the house as your home for your kids. And after work, then you can head downstairs and then tell kids that daddy's home. This also can be a guest bedroom. This overlooks towards the back of the house. So along Cane Hill, the houses here all face towards one facing. They're all facing towards southwest direction. And of course, towards the back, that faces towards northeast direction. So let's head down. Starting from the staircase, very long strips of solid timber are used for the entire staircase. And all these are custom cut wood. There's the exact dimension of the entire staircase. I'm gonna bring you through towards level two. Let's go. Now the first common room faces towards the front of the house. The front part of the house for level two, these are configured into two common bedrooms. You have your balcony space right here. Nice vintage balcony. You have seen our Ritz-Carlton Residences video that's just right across the street at the diagonal direction. Nowadays, I mean, you don't get to see this kind of vintage windows. Modern windows are down on the inside. You have this kind of vintage windows on the outside. Because it has been renovated twice, you get this modern feel, nice down lights, four ceiling that has been done. You also have this very thick kind of skirting at the side. Um, there's a more uh, vintage classic style. So that really adds a lot of the heritage feel of this house. Okay, so let me bring you to the other room. So this is the second common room. In terms of size, I would say it's pretty similar. It's just as a flip kind of angle. So of course your main resting zone will be at this direction. And then you have this nice corner here that has uh, two panel windows. So you can use this as an entire wardrobe space or you can use this as a study zone as well. So these two common rooms I think are fantastic for your kids. So if you're buying this for stay, there are plentiful amount of space right here. Along the walkway, this will be where your common bathroom is being located. It's all done with nice oldish antique mosaic tiles on the flooring. Plus a rain shower here that overlooks towards your air well portion internally. I think the bathroom sizes are great. This is the start of the amazing portion. This town so Across this hallway, what you get to see is your main dining zone down here. So this part here heads up towards your attic level. I'm going to bring you that later. But this is the best place because uh, if you own this home, you must definitely use this as your master room. You get the best view right here towards the two different airwell portions internally. This is your dining space. That is towards the other dining space that is nearer towards your kitchen. Master room also comprised of this entire walkway that is now being used of course as a study area, dressing area. Super long solid top right here with 14 panels of wardrobe space that's flush against the entire walkway space. There's no lack of wardrobe space. And of course, after like five, eight or 10 years, if you want to do a more massive kind of renovation uh, or e and a you can work very closely with your architect. But of course, do take note that when you buy a conservation landed right here in Cane Hill or maybe in Emerald Hill area, you have to take note that there are some things that you have to adhere to in terms of guidelines with URA and BCA. In terms of facade, you can't touch the front portion. There are also some things that you definitely must preserve within the house itself. But there are a lot of potential of what you can do with this house. This part can also be your secondary wardrobe space. You can use it as a mini living room area within your master itself. Of course, you can also utilize it like what it is right now as a home office space overlooking towards your main house itself. The ensuite is fabulous. It's the largest bathroom in this home. And of course, you have a nice long bath done with marble top, standing shower, rain shower, overlooking towards the back of the house. And as we head back, the nice entire mirror that has been done here. As you walk down towards the resting zone, this is how it feels like when you close the door. So this entire space, this is your master room. Just have a look at this entire walkway. So beautiful. I'm gonna bring you upstairs to the attic level. So follow me closely, come on.
Before you head up to the attic level, there's like a secret compartment here. This is a perfect place for all your luggages. It's putting all your storage right here. And then, oh my goodness. Look at the attic, it's beautiful. It's beautiful ceiling. The beauty about attic is that attic is also about storage. This utilizes the triangle portion. This is also a perfect place for your home office, a private meeting room, board game area, entertainment area, movie night is right here. Alternatively, use this as a fourth bedroom. So I've seen two common rooms on level two, master room on level two, attic room is the fourth room. The annex room is the fifth room. So in totality, five bedrooms now. Of course, the attic room is also an ensuite with this nice open rooftop kind of ensuite. Uh, of course, dark tiles finishes, nice rain shower that has been fitted right at the corner. This house is ready to go. I think you should just buy it as a collection item. For those of you who are already very familiar with Kane Hill, we all know that Orchard is undergoing the master plan development, not just in the main Orchard area, but also in the Dobie God area. If you tell people you own a landed property in D9, especially in the Cane Hill area, this is a prime address for you to collect. If you want to own a landed right here, it is very difficult because a lot of the owners, they are not letting go of the property. The properties here are just so prime, so rare, and so hard to come by. Now let's head down. Let's chat a little bit about some of the things that you might want to take note when you buy a landed property right here in Singapore. So of course, landed properties are reserved mainly for Singaporeans without any purchasing restrictions. If you are a PR status, a permanent resident status uh, per se, uh, you do have to apply for the LDAU approval from Singapore Land Authority. If you are a foreigner status and you want to own a landed property in prime area Singapore, you also have to do likewise, apply with Singapore Land Authority for a special approval to own landed properties in Singapore. So apart from that, this is a prime freehold property because uh, this is estate in fee simple. That means you can hold it through a perpetuity. And of course, you can pass on to the generations. You keep it as part of your family heritage. I think if you are considering large size apartments, let's say if you're looking at something that's already in the range of 10 to 15 million dollars, this one right here, you owned the freehold land at 2,500 plus square feet. Beautiful built out area with five bedrooms at 4,000 plus square feet. $10.8 million is the asking price. Now, if you want to have a look at this physical place, uh, give our Propton Brothers Luxury team a call. The number uh, is already located right at the link down below. And uh, if you click on the link, that will bring you to our landing page with more information uh, about this place. You also can tour the entire virtual tour that is uh, 3D in nature. Of course, have a more detailed look at this video as well. So give us a call if you want to have a look at this place and we'll be very happy to show the place. So once again, my name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers. As always, take care and see you soon. Hey, but the, the opening scene like that, oh, is it very down? Nah? All right, welcome to Kane Hill. And today we are in... Okay, sorry, over time. All right, and this is such a rare find and... Uh... Okay, one time. All right, and uh, we have a lot of places... <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, and we have a lot of things to cover for you today. And uh, let me bring you some... <laughs> Can you look through the window? Hmm? Yeah, this is my room. Oh, I really like it. Oh my gosh, put bed here so nice. Very nice. My favorite room.